is Helping Gurneys, and I'm going to do an everyday makeup tutorial. It's very simple for skin that's not that really bad, I guess. So, uh, this is what I do in the car because I figure skate in the morning. So, it's so simple for me to do in the car. Uh, what you will need is a mirror, some eyeshadow, some you'll see. Okay. I keep I fit it all in this little pouch. So, yeah. I already pulled everything out, and, yeah, since I don't really need foundation, I guess, because I'm still kind of young, <laughs> I'm just using, um, the Benefit, the Pore Professional, because I have really bad pores on my nose, so this is what I do, I just pour out, it's very tiny, I just pour out about that much on my finger, and I close it up, and I pop it right in the bag. Now, normally, I would have a mirror, and it will be a lot easier, but no. So, I'm using this right now. So, I just put it on my nose. So, there's a mirror, like, right there, so I'm just kind of looking at that, and it's better. Just rub it all over my nose, maybe go up a little bit. Because my nose is like the only area that I'm really bad for. Like that. It doesn't make a big of a difference if you look closely. My pores are not that bad, but the camera quality is not really good on my computer, so, yeah. Next, we'll be using eyeliner. I do, my, I do um, my makeup in a weird routine. I don't know. So, this is the Lancome Le Crayon Cold. And it is in color black coffee. Turns out, he looks kind of green, but on the camera looks kind of black or brownish, but whatever. So, this is so much harder to do it on the camera, so I'm just going to look up here. I always do my top. The trick is if you go a little close, like if you can't do like the upper waterline, if you go really close, the pencil just goes underneath it and hits that waterline, so that's okay. So I was I don't want to make it too thick, so if you can see, it doesn't really look like I'm wearing eyeliner, but that's good, you know? Makeup's supposed to be natural most of the time. So I do the same thing for the high. And I do my waterline. Ah, wow, that was pretty stupid of me. <laughs> so that's my eyeliner, and I learned in a book from Bobby Brown. That if you use concealer under your eyes while you put on uh, your eyeliner, then um, it holds it more in place. So that's why I go out of order because I don't, I put it on and then after I put blush on, I don't want to put concealer on. So I do that. I take, this is the MAC. Um, this is MAC concealer. And I have two different types. Like I want foundation. My skin is a lot darker than it is appearing now. So. When I do that, I use, like sometimes I use foundation, but whatever. I use Bare Metal Stroke of Light Eye Brightener. It's in color Luminous 3. But on a normal day basis, when I'm not wearing foundation, I just use my MAC. Uh, I'm in shade, well this one's called Moisture Cover. I'm in shade NW2O. Okay. Just as an applicator, like that, and I just like go a little bit underneath on my dark circles. Pop it right back in the bag, just like my eyeliner, the professional, and I like to tap it up near the waterline, and like my lash line, on it, but and then just keep on going, blend it in pretty good. Yeah, 
not showing up that well, but you really have to blend it in because it has an orange base. So, you kind of really want to blend it in pretty good. And same for this eye. And go up in the back. Clap right now. So, yeah. Okay. Next, what I'll be doing is the blush. Um, on a normal day basis, I will do bronzer because it gives too much of a contour effect. So I'm just using my Mac Pinch Me Sheer Tone Blush. Uh, this is what the real color looks like. quite a base that it's like really like a nice pink. That's just a Revlon brush because it's just from travel size. I'd rather not take an expensive brush with me and it gets ruined in the bag. So I'd rather just take a cheap Revlon brush and I just go. That's all I really need because I'm, I'm not going anywhere. It's just school. Second, tap it. And on one side I use for one cheek, the other side I use for the other. You smile. See, I don't. I like to be more natural. Like I don't really care for that big, big jazz when I go to school. So. Okay. Next, I will be using uh, my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. This is the original packaging and stuff because it came with the Naked palette. So the trick is, when you put it on your eyelids, don't do both eyelids at the same time because it's going to crease up your eye. It's disgusting. So it has the brush applicator, which I don't have anymore. Yay! So I just go. And I put it back in so it doesn't take that much oxygen to dry it out. And you immediately blend it in. If you wait for the other eye, you open this one, that line will flip up to the top. And that's not really attractive. You really even blend it in anyway, but it messes up your eyeliner. See, you might not see it, but yeah. Okay. Pretty simple. Now I will be using the Mac shadow. I um it's called Saddle Mac. And it looks like this. It's coming up darker, but it's like that cafe brown. I really like it. I mean, it's simple. Smoky effect. It's much better than the Maybelline quad. Oh my gosh. I need to show you. This Maybelline quad. This is in color rose petal. No, rose light. And it looks like this. Whoops. So it kind of looks like it's like that palette. I did the smoky eye with this, and it came up much shimmerier, shim, shimmerier, <laughs> um, and so much lighter. And I don't really like that. This is a one base that I all use. It blends in well with my natural eye. I go back and forth with the brush. Not too hard, but you know, yeah. Pat it off. And I go in. I pat one side in. Let me just look in the mirror so I know what I'm doing. Pat, and then I take the other side, and I blend it in only up to my crease. I don't go above. Sometimes I do, but sometimes I don't. That's what it kind of looks like. And this guy makes a better effect on it, so later. Pop it up and put it back in the bag. Dab it. Wait. Wait, yeah, okay. Dab it. Get it side and smooth it out. If you dab it first, it gives up more product. So you don't waste anything. So it looks like that. Okay. Now, I've just added this to my routine, and 
and I kind of already dropped it. <laughs> but this is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in 617 Iced Mocha. And it's a really nice, like, goldish brownish. So, see the cap's kind of broken off. Whatever. So I put that in my inner corner. Brightens up my eye just a little bit. Okay, now the last two steps. Mascara. This is the Bobbi Brown Everything. Everything mascara. Okay. He doesn't really give anything to my eyelashes, but my eyelashes are pretty long, so I just accept it. But this one's just an everyday easy look. I don't want to go crazy to school. I always mess up on this eye. Okay, you also want to get the corner with the tip. If you don't worry about clumps, I have a trick. Okay, now I dip it up one more time. Okay. Okay, now I just clean up. Clean it up a little bit little bit and just like wipe it off it's not that big a deal if you're really fussy um with that type of stuff just take the um oil free makeup eraser sticks by almay if we don't know how it works what you do is it's like a little q-tip and you rip off the purple and eye makeup remover goes down the tube and brush it for you <laughs> and my brows in a way, so I'm just going to brush my brows out. My brows are pretty dark, so I don't really have to do much. Just brush it out just a little bit. Just get them under control. And I take the comb. See the comb part, which is the top part. And I just brush out my lashes. A lot of you might think I'm really crazy, but if you look carefully, there's a lot of clumps on it. For my eye, for my mascara, so yeah. The best part is to do the bottom because you take the mascara that you used on top, and when you brush out your bottom lashes, it becomes like darker and stuff like that. But if you really wanna make it perfect, take the Clinique bottom lash mascara. Do that, but I just want a quick mascara to use. So this is my everyday look. So, I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe, and yeah, so have a good day. Bye, guys. <laughs>